What's up, Cop Gang? Welcome back to another Dynamics question. Let's get started. So we have a car that's traveling up a hill with a speed of 0.2 S meters per second. And then we're given that uh, the radius of curvature is 500 at that point. And our goal is to find the acceleration at 50 meters. So here's our little diagram and let's get started. So when we have this, we're given the radius of curvature. It looks like we're gonna need to use tangent and normal, right? So we need to find acceleration tangent and acceleration normal. So what are these, right? Well, the acceleration tangent is the acceleration in the tangent direction, so across this axis. And acceleration normal is the normal acceleration, which is the feeling you get pulling you upward, I guess. So let's find out what these are, right? So acceleration tangent, the equation we need to use for this, we're not given uh, velocity in terms of time, so we can't use V dot for acceleration tangent. What we need to use is this equation, acceleration tangent ds, is equal to v d me. So this is the equation we need to use to find a t. So of course we're solving for a t, so let's go ahead and divide by ds. So it's going to be v dv ds. So derivative of velocity with respect to position, we can do that because we have this velocity in terms of position. So this is why we're going to use this equation here. So if we're going to solve for this, we can take the derivative, that's going to be easy, but we need to find the velocity at this point. We're not given the velocity. So that's, let's first by start by doing that. So we're trying to find the velocity at 50 meters. So we're going to say velocity at 50 is equal to 0 0.2 and then plug in 50 for s. So then this is going to give you velocity at 50 is equal to 10 meters a second. So then we have this, so let's plug it in here. Acceleration tangent is equal to 10. And then dv ds, so let's take the derivative of velocity with respect to s. Of course that s is just going to get dropped and it's just going to be 0 0.2. So we're going to get that acceleration tangent is equal to 2 meters per second squared. All right, nice. So let's go ahead and find acceleration normal. So acceleration normal is equal to velocity squared over the radius of curvature. So that's why we're given the radius of curvature for this equation. So of course we have velocity. We just calculated that to be 10. The radius of curvature is 500. So this is going to give you 100 over 500, which is going to be 0 0.2 meters per second squared. So if we want to find the magnitude of the acceleration now, we're just going to take the square root of acceleration tangent squared plus the acceleration normal squared, 0 0.2 squared. And this is going to give you 2.01 meters per second squared. And that's the solution, right? So really not that tricky of a question. It's about using your equations correctly and setting it up correctly. So yeah, if you have any questions, ask in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.